Thanks for joining us. You're watching Newsline at noon. I'm Che Yuzan in Seoul. Very good to have you with us. I'm Mark Bream. President Park Geun-hye is set to rack up some serious air miles as she embarks on a nine-day trip to India and Switzerland on Wednesday. Our presidential correspondent Oh Jin-ju tells us what she aims to accomplish during her state visits to the two countries. President Park will focus on promoting her vision for a creative economy and securing greater foreign investment in Korea during her trip to India and Switzerland. In India, President Park will hold bilateral talks with Prime Minister Mamuhan Singh and discuss ways to further develop the two countries' cooperation in various fields, ranging from economic affairs to science and information communications technology. India is the world's second largest market with a population of 1.2 billion and is currently moving ahead with a five-year economic development plan that runs through 2017. The presidential office of Chawada says there is great potential in many areas for cooperation between Korea and India, and India will be a key partner in helping Korea realize a creative economy, one of the Park administration's major goals. India is globally competitive in high-tech industries such as IT and aerospace. Korea will sign MOUs with India in the fields of science, information and communications technology and aerospace during the president's visit to strengthen cooperation, especially in sectors related to the creative economy. The president will also seek ways to upgrade the Korea-India Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, which took effect in 2010, and urge the Indian government to support Korean companies, including POSCO, which has been working on a project in the Indian state of Odisha for eight years now. President Park will be the first Korean leader to make a state visit to Switzerland. There, she will hold a bilateral summit with President of the Swiss Confederation, Didier Burkhalter, and visit economic sites to benchmark Switzerland's vocational training system and its economic system, which is centered around small and mid-sized firms, all of which could be linked to her vision for a creative economy. The president will wrap up her trip at the World Economic Forum in Davos, where she will meet with the CEOs of global companies such as Cisco and Siemens and urge foreign businesses to invest in Korea. Oh Jin-ju, Arirang News.